Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to fix a problem when performing screen recording. I have faced this issue myself and I was about to reinstall Windows altogether because I couldn't find the solution for this problem, but I have just found it and I want to share it with you. So in case you get in the similar issue, you can try to resolve it yourself. So let's get started. But before we start, if you first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting videos. Also click the notification bell so you don't miss new upcoming videos. And if you find this video helpful and it will help you, please support it with a like. I appreciate it very much and let's get started. All right, first of all, let's confirm the issue so we make sure that you get in the same issue. Otherwise, this method may not work. As you can see, I have an external monitor that I have connected to my laptop and when I try to do a screen recording on the external monitor, not on the laptop monitor, after I have finished recording, all I'm getting is the blank screen. So it's pitch black, there is nothing on it, which means that the program hasn't recorded the signal going to the external monitor. So if that's your problem, then this method should fix it. All right, let's continue to the solution. I think the problem lies how some programs handle dual graphics card setup. For example, like this laptop, it has an NVIDIA RTX 3060 dedicated graphic card as well as AMD Radeon integrated graphics card which comes with the Ryzen 7 5800H. In laptops with dual graphics cards such as integrated one and dedicated, the decision which graphics card is to be used is typically controlled by a combination of a graphics card driver such as NVIDIA Optimus or AMD Switchable Graphics and system settings. So by default, the integrated graphics card or iGPU like AMD or Intel UHD graphics is used for most tasks such as browsing to save power. And the dedicated GPU like Nvidia or AMD is automatically activated for more demanding tasks such as gaming, video editing, 3D rendering. And I figure that sometimes when you're doing a screen recording, it is controlled by the integrated graphic card. And for some reason, the screen recorder app is not able to receive signal from this integrated graphic card, which causes an issue of getting a black screen on the external monitor. I have tried changing different things specifically for this recording program to be using dedicated graphic card, but unfortunately it didn't work either. So I'm gonna show you the solution that worked for me. Lenovo Legion comes with a proprietary program to manage different settings, which is called Lenovo Vantage. If you have a different laptop manufacturer, there might be a different app for your computer. Usually each gaming laptop manufacturer has its own app. So just open up Lenovo Vantage and where it says hybrid mode, this is the mode that actually works as the switch. When you need to use integrated graphics card for some lighter task, it will use the iGPU, but when you need more power, it will activate the dedicated graphics card. So when this hybrid mode is enabled, it's gonna switch between one and another. But if you fully disable it, then it will use a dedicated graphics card for all tasks. So it will consume more power, but then it will use high performance GPU for each task. To switch it off, you're gonna need to reboot your computer. And after it's gonna be rebooted, it will disable this hybrid mode off. Similarly, you can disable it or enable it in the UEFI BIOS. If you restart your computer and press F2 before it starts loading into the operating system, then in the bottom right corner, as you can see, there is an option for dynamic graphics card, which basically corresponds to the hybrid mode on and discrete graphic, which corresponds to the hybrid mode off. So as you can see, we have disabled it. And right now it is switched to the discrete graphic. After we have set it to the discrete graphics card or the hybrid mode off, let's go ahead and exit BIOS and save settings and try the screen recorder once again. Okie dokie, I got this screen recorder turned on again and we're gonna record the external monitor once more. Let's go ahead and put like something on the screen so that we can indeed confirm that we're recording the external monitor and not the internal monitor. So I'm just gonna put this browser window and I think that's enough, we're gonna 15 seconds. We're just gonna record 15 seconds, that's enough. Let's go ahead and check it out. And yeah, look at that. You can see the screen has been recorded and everything works fine. Awesome, that's what we needed. I'm glad it finally worked because I was about to reinstall Windows altogether because 
It actually happened after another Windows update, which I tried to avoid, but I had to update for some drivers. And this happened that my screen recorder program stopped working. So I was trying to figure it out. But I'm glad I found the solution. I hope this video will be helpful for other people as well. Let me know in the comment section below if it was helpful to you and help solve your problem. Also, if you find this video helpful, please support it with a like. I appreciate it very much. And also, if you first time to the channel, take a second to click the subscribe button. This only takes a second, but it helps me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful, interesting videos. Anyway, like I always say, if you know how to fix it, it only takes a minute. But if you don't know how to fix it, you can spend forever trying to figure it out. So I hope this was another helpful video for you guys. If you want to support my channel, you can go ahead and check out my other videos as well. I appreciate it very much. But this is it for today. Hope you have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.